Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everybody. My name is Maya the King, and pollen is what happens when flowers can't keep it in their pants. Now then, today we're taking a look at a game just released on Steam called Espresso Tycoon, developed by Dreamway Games and published by Playway SA, released not in early access and selling for 20 American dollars. Now, in this game, you basically play as some guy who starts off as an intern and slowly work your way up the corporate chain of coffee business to become the world's best coffee shop owner-manager guy. I think. I mean, it's a simulator game, what did you expect? Obviously, it doesn't have much of a story, because it's just a simulator about owning different types of coffee shops. From food truck portable vendor styles, and, you know, all the way up to fancy coffee shops in Paris. You know, it's a top-down style with an interesting graphical feel, and... Yeah, it's just a coffee shop simulator. However, there are some things here that you just need to know, so don't dismiss this game or this video without hearing all of it, alright? Like, for instance, it has two different modes of play. The campaign mode with some story, voice acting, and the tutorial. Or sandbox mode, where you pick your, you know, where your shop will be and then build it up from the ground. Alright, so as always, let's go into the good and the bad, followed by my final thoughts and recommendations, shall we? So the first thing in the positives is the price tag. If you knew what I knew, then you'd know that this price tag is very appropriate. At first, I was like, $20 for this? But then I started to play it and could instantly see why it's $20. I'll go into detail a bit later, but for now, just know that the price tag is appropriate. Very much so, and I'm happy to see it. Secondly is the tutorial. Wanna know why? Because I said so! And if you ever watched any of my videos, you know just how particular I am about my tutorials. What's that? Can't just take my word for it? Fine. Basically, the tutorial is done in a campaign-style story mode. I know, right? A campaign in a coffee shop simulator? But we'll get into that. For now, all you need to know is that the tutorial is simple, easy, fun, it works, teaches you everything you need to know in a fun, easy to understand way, and doesn't feel like a chore. It's nice. Next up is the sound and the music. The game does have voice acting, and it's okay, I guess. Not the best, but not the worst. I mean, the lady is clearly going for a certain style, and it's almost creepy, but not quite so, so it's passable, I guess. The guy is, he sounds kind of like a robot, I don't know, I'm not sure what his deal is. As for the music, it's your typical generic waiting in an elevator music. It's really bland and in the background, so that's disappointing. And the sound effects are pretty on point, actually. Like, the sound effects are pretty good. It sounds exactly like you want it to when it comes to making coffee or other little tidbits scattered about. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's closer to good than to bad, which is why it's overall in the positives. Next up is the graphics. Now, they aren't the best, by far, and there's not a lot of attention to detail, but they do some things really well here, like the color contrast, the lighting or the reflections, the color designs, and just the overall look of the game is pleasant on the eyes and not too hard to look at. Overall, the graphics and art style are slightly above average, so they have to be here in the positives. Now we go into the game's biggest selling point, the gameplay. How is it exactly? Well, it's pretty darn awesome. I mean, even if everything else sucked, this gameplay is so fun and addictive that before I knew it, my time allotted for gameplay footage was already up, but I wasn't done playing yet because I, I just, I had to get more money. I, ju I just have to. I gotta get more beans. It's kind of like Stars, like a five-star restaurant, and here it's a five-bean restaurant. So I just, I had to, and I, I, I can't help it. The gameplay is fun. And it has a lot going into it. I mean a lot. So you can you can customize your shop as you'd hope in a game like this, right? So here. First, you can choose the name of your coffee shop and its logo. Hell, even design, the lettering, and the color. And, and then you get to choose the color that you'd like to use. Then you can change the design of the floors and the walls. You can choose different types of seating arrangements. Uh, you can plant plants and set down posters, etc., right? But that's not all. You can also create and customize your own coffee recipes. Choose the cup, choose the flavor, and the ingredients, and the toppings. You can name the coffee, set its price, and it's just, it's incredible how much customization is going into the making of your very own special blend. You can hire different baristas with different skills and train them, put them on sh the, the shift that they prefer, raise or lower their pay. You can also raise or lower the prices of your different coffee options, but I kind of already went over that just a minute ago. But not everything is unlocked at the beginning, so you'll need to research things, which takes time. You can also follow trends that are going around and prepare coffee to help draw in more customers. And if you ever wanted to just say screw it and do whatever you want, when creating your custom sandbox, you can enable cheats, which just do a bunch of random fun stuff, you know, whatever you'd like to set up the perfect scenario that you'd like to have and play through. So that's that's actually really nice. I wasn't expecting that either. So it's it's kind of like if you don't want, if you want a stress-free environment, you can literally create a startup stress-free environment in the sandbox mode. 
As you'll play, you'll run out of different ingredients and need to order more. Train your staff if they're not quite good enough. You can hire multiple staff and slowly increase and upgrade your shop over time as you unlock things. The majority of the gameplay is just sitting there and waiting though, but we'll go into that a bit later. For now, just know that this coffee shop simulator has a lot more depth to it than I would have thought. And last but not least is the stability. Thankfully, as a fully released game, it did not release with a lot of bugs and glitches. I have noticed only one small minor bug, and it might not even be a bug, but just bad programming, but it's the AI pathing system. Like, it's ridiculous watching them just kind of walk around in circles trying to get into their seats or trying to walk out the door. But otherwise, I didn't run into any real glitches or bugs, especially not any that might be worth mentioning here. Alright, so that's all I got for the positives. Up next is the negatives. The first negative is the gameplay. Yeah, it's in the positives too, but I had to make mention. Once your shop is finished and you're done with the customizing, it's literally just you sitting there with sped up time waiting for more money so you can do more stuff. And then, and then what happens when you run out of more stuff? Like, what happens when you unlock everything? It's literally just you sitting there. You don't have to do anything once the initial setup is complete, honestly. You just kind of sit there and wait for however long it takes for you to get enough money to buy the next thing. There's nothing for you to do. There's nothing else to do. You just watch. It's just kind of boring and repetitive. The next negative thing here is the awkward user interface. It's kind of needlessly complicated, and while you can get used to it after a certain amount of play, you'll still be a bit lost and constantly checking the tooltip bubbles of everything because you're still not sure what is there or what isn't there or where that is. It, it looks nice, but it's just a bit too complicated. Next on the list I have is the is probably the replayability. I mean, once you play it all the way through, I see no real reason to do so again. I mean, it's already repetitive in a bad way enough as is, so why put yourself through it a second or third time? I mean, unless you like customizing your coffee once and then watching people come and go from your store over and over again, you're probably going to find yourself bored with this game after a little while, and then why would you come back to play it again? See what I mean? And that's pretty much all I have for the negatives, and even those were stretching it a bit. Yeah, it has its annoying points, but overall, the game is a solid experience in my book. It even has a bit of humor, which did make me smile a few times. They even have several shoutouts to the popular sitcom Friends, which I'm a fan of, so that was pretty funny and nice. Overall, I think this is a surprisingly good little game. I was not expecting much, but the game had... I mean, it's got what I didn't think it would have to make it decent. I mean, it's got decent enough voice acting, story mode, cutscenes, detailed particulars about the micromanaging of a shop that wasn't overbearing or confusing, and even a few extras put in that I just wasn't expecting but happy to see. For $20, you're getting quite a deal here, as this game is pretty well put together and a very interesting, intuitive design. So yeah, I recommend it. If you like simulator games, then this is a really good one to check out, and I'd highly encourage you to do so. It has its low moments, sure, but for the most part, I think the pros outweigh the cons here. Alright, everybody? Okay, so that's all the time I got for this video. Thanks so much for deciding to check out my channel. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you all again on my next adventure. So until then, I bid you all farewell.